Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about arches, those amazing curved structures that have shaped architecture for thousands of years and the one thing that holds them up. And remember to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. The Greeks, Egyptians and Babylonians realized that the circle is nature's most stable shape and they used it to create arched underground structures like drains, tunnels and secret passages in the shape of an arch using stones. But it wasn't until later, around 1000 to 500 BC, that the Romans used a special method by simply replacing one single element on the arch to make it stronger and more stable, which allowed them to build impressive engineering marvels using this keystone element. This method was then perfected during the medieval period with a better understanding of why and how this single piece made all the difference. But first, let's have a look at the arch itself. For the purpose of this video, I will assume that our arch consists only of two elements, a left piece and a right piece. Let's use one of the pieces for now. Remember, our arches were built with stones. On each stone element, we have a vertical weight force acting downwards, which can be broken down into the two vertices relevant to the orientation of each stone element. The red force is a force acting parallel along the arch surface and it is a compression force that holds each piece together by friction. Let's assume that all of our pieces are held together as one piece and now the blue force wants to rotate our whole half arch in relation to a single point on the ground downwards and outwards. Let's see this again. See how the whole part of the arch needs to move outwards as it rotates down towards the ground. Now, let's move our half piece to the side and introduce our second element of the arch. See how the two elements touch each other at the top, each one holding the other in place without allowing it to move outwards. Now the problem is with the two completely vertical pieces at the top. These are held together by friction, but as time passes materials deteriorate, friction forces can get reduced, resulting for the two pieces finally to fall down on the ground, creating a void at the top allowing our two left and right arch elements to rotate and fall towards themselves, resulting in a full collapse. Let's put our arch back together. Now, in come the Romans. What the Romans did, they removed these vertical top pieces and introduced a new trapezoidal wedged shaped stone element placed right at the top. This was the key to lock the whole arch together and thus its name arch keystone. This simple and innovative idea allowed for heavier and bigger structures to be built with a keystone element taking a decorative form as well throughout the years that can be found on arches all around the world until today. And this brings us to the end. Until next time, click the subscribe button and thank you for watching.